ever struggled with managing data in Python? Well, data structures are the key. Master them and Python becomes 10 times easier. Today, I will break down lists, tuples, sets, and dictionaries in the simplest way possible. So you can get used to them and uh, be better at them like a pro. So let's get started. Uh, in a few of my previous videos, I have covered uh, different data types in Python, but today we will be covering, covering data structures. Welcome to Python for everyone, where learning Python is simple, fun, and beginner friendly. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out. Today, we're covering one of the most important topics in Python data structures. Uh, these are how Python stores and organizes data and mastering them will make you a better and faster coder. Let's start with the first one. It is list. The very first thing that you need to understand or learn about list uh, data structure is variable assigned. It, it always has square brackets, okay? It can keep uh, strings, floats, integers, any kind of data type inside it. It can store any of that inside it. Lists are used everywhere in Python. They're ordered, changeable, and they allow duplicates in them. When I say duplicates, meaning, for example, let's say I have a list with uh, some numbers in it. So, there we go. So, as you see, I have put 6 2 times and 8 2 times, which means list will allow it. It stores it as it is. I'm making sure about this point. I'm uh, pointing it out again and again because there are other data structures which do not allow duplicates in them. All right. Uh, basically, lists are like, uh, you can think of them as a shopping list. Like uh, when, when we have to go to a grocery store, we make a list. That's exactly what we do over here, but in square brackets. Okay. Uh, we can add things from it. We can remove things from it. We can modify uh, the elements that we have put inside them. Elements or items, whatever you want to call um, you know, the things that we, uh, the data uh, type that we put inside a list. Let's start with uh, an example over here. Square brackets because it's a list. Let's say I have uh, some fruits, apples, okay, strings. See, I'm using uh, strings over here. Bananas, okay. Uh, let's say one more. What should I put? Okay, cherry. There we go. Now, how will I go about uh, indexing in a list? Like uh, in, one, in one of my previous videos, I have explained indexing and slicing in uh, Python. This is very similar. Indexing in Python, it always starts from uh, number zero. So the index value for apples is zero. For bananas, it is uh, one. For cherry, it is two. And uh, let's say I want to access the first element, the first item in uh, our given list. How will I go about accessing it? A square bracket, zero. That's my first element. That's my first item in the list. And so the indexing remains the same like we did it in strings. Okay. Ah, so uh, let's say that I want to modify something uh, in my given list over here. Uh, let's say that I want to add something in it and I want to remove, uh, let's say I want to add mangoes in this list. So it's a method, okay? It's not a function, it's a method which is applicable only to lists. I will, uh, first of all, the variable name. Uh, then the method name that will be applicable over here will be append, okay? And as usual, a method. So what do we want to add there? In that list I want to add mangoes okay let's try printing it there we go you can see um, I added a uh, new element 
uh, new string over there, mangoes, it was added at the very end of the list. Now let's say that I want to uh, remove apples from the list. So once again, variable name goes first. Remove is our method that we will be using. And what do we want to remove? We want to remove apples. There you go. Let's try printing uh, A over here. There you go. Now if I want to uh, access the first element of this particular uh, list, what will it be? Let's say A, 0. The first element, 0 indexing, bananas. See, it was a permanent effect which took place. Okay? All right. So lists are uh, super flexible. Uh, you can add, remove, or update. Uh, there are plenty other methods that come with list data structures, which we will cover in my upcoming videos. Uh, for now, this was a, a simple introduction to what exactly are lists, what are we dealing with over here. You can add, remove, or update items. Uh, this is the, you know, they're the most commonly used data structure in Python, the simply put. Okay, let me add more cells. All right, the second one that we will be working on is called tuples. All right, uh, the very, uh, the most important thing, the brackets are parentheses. Okay, for lists, uh, the brackets are square. For tuples, it's a parenthesis. Okay, all right. Uh, they're quite a bit like uh, lists, but uh, they are immutable. Uh, immutable meaning, uh, for example, our grandparents, right? They are a certain age, uh, they have their habits, they have their way of thinking, they are set in their ways, and there is no chance that they can change uh, in anything uh, according to you or any other person. You can say that our grandparents are like tuples. Um, you know, they're lovely, okay, but they're immutable. All right, you have to remember that. Immutable. That is one thing about tuples that you always, always have to remember. Okay? Uh, meaning, Basically meaning that once you have created them, you cannot change uh, the values inside them. Okay? Uh, for example, I have a variable over here. Okay? Uh, parentheses. That's how it will go. Um... I have 10, 20, 30, let's say, you know, and uh, 40, 50. That's a tuple, all right? Uh, indexing works perfectly, okay? Uh, if I wanted uh, the second element, the second item in the tuple, uh, the indexing will go as 10 is the zero indexing. The second element will be 20, okay? So basically, uh, indexing will be 1. There you go. Indexing works perfectly. Tuples are faster than lists, okay, and uh, used when data shouldn't be changed, like storing coordinates, uh, database records, your bank information, settings, passwords, okay? Now, the key difference, lists are changeable, tuples are not, all right? Let's move on to our uh, third data structure over here, which is called as sets. Very you know, interesting to work with, but they have curly brackets. Remember that, okay? Lists have square brackets, like I mentioned over here. Uh, tuples have parentheses for brackets, and sets have curly brackets, okay? All right, now, sets uh, happen to be unordered, okay? Uh, you, you can, you know, create them in however, which way that you want, but they don't uh, order themselves uh, like in a descending order or an ascending order by themselves. and But they do not allow duplicate values, all right? In the list, I was insisting, uh, I kept telling you that in list, uh, duplicate values are allowed. Like over here, it accepted uh, two sixes and uh, two eights uh, in it. But in sets, that will not be the case. Okay, let's try. Uh, curly brackets, let's say I have numbers, uh, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 8, uh, 10, 12, uh, 2, uh, let's say 7, uh, 10, okay, uh, now let me try printing it, there you go, see I did store uh, the values inside it, okay, 
but uh, when we processed it, when we uh, uh, you know ran the code over there, when we executed the command, it removed all the duplicates. That's how sets work. They are great for removing duplicates and performing mathematical operations like union and intersection. Um, if you're unaware of what union and intersections are, need not worry. I will explain it in my upcoming videos. This is just an introduction uh, into different kinds of data structures with Python. Now, um, okay, well, we're done with that. Uh, we will work on set operations when we go into depth uh, in this particular topic later on. For now, let's move on to our next data structure, which is dictionaries. Again, uh, brackets which are used are curly brackets, but I'm putting a colon inside, and I will explain it to you why. Okay. Uh, lists have square brackets, tuple have parentheses for brackets, uh, sets have curly brackets, so do dictionaries, but there's a massive and huge difference. All right? They basically store data in key and value pairs, which is just like a real dictionary. When you open a dictionary, when you're looking up uh, a meaning or explanation for a particular word, the word is mentioned, and then uh, in front of the word, there's entire explanation. How do you pronounce it? Uh, you know what are, um, you know what are the tenses? Uh, how do the tenses work in it? What's the exact meaning? If uh, it has synonym, like different meanings um, for the same word, it also entails those. And dictionaries, uh, uh, data structures work in the same, similar kind of fashion. Okay, let's say I have a dictionary over here. Uh, let's say name. Again, this is the key name. Okay, now I will <clears throat> excuse me. All right, so uh, the name will be Imanshi Thakur. Okay, uh, let's say age that's a key again, and the value which is stored inside the name is Imanshi Thakur. Okay, so name is the key on the left side of the colon is the key on the right side of the colon is the value assigned to that key. It could be, you know, various things stored right there. You uh, need not worry about it. Now, see, age happens to be uh, a string, but uh, the data type of key and value need not be same. So age is string over here, but uh, the number that I put in my age, actual age, is an integers. All right, um, hobbies, okay, let's say hobbies. Uh, it will be uh, painting. Gardening. There we go. Let's just keep uh, painting for now, okay? Now, this is my dictionary right over here. Once again, on the left side of the colon is the key for a dictionary. On the right side is the value stored inside it. Okay, so instead of accessing values by index, uh, like, you know, we do for, with lists, um, in dictionaries, we use a key, which makes uh, searching much faster. Because, see, one single key can have multiple, multiple values uh, stored inside it. So how will we go about indexing them if we don't know, you know, where they could be stored? But keys can be easily pulled, all right, which we will learn in one of my upcoming videos. But for now, let's say, uh, let's take an example of uh, how indexing works with dictionaries. Let's say I want to store, uh, print. Um, hmm, uh, I want to print what's the, you know, what what's my name over there. So in, instead of working on indexing over here, I can just pull... Uh, the key variable, okay, and in brackets, what do I want to print? Name. So it will print the value stored inside the key. Name is the key, and Himanshi Thakur uh, is the value. So that's what it did. I called for uh, the key. I mentioned the key uh, over here, but it gave me the value stored inside it. Okay, let's say that I want to print. Um, age uh, you know what's my age so there you go 
35. All right. It happens to be quite faster, actually. Um, let's try updating something uh, in a dictionary. For example, uh, let's say instead of 35, I want to put 30 over there. I wish. <laughs> um, let's see how it, it's done. So what I will do is I'll take the variable. I'll take uh, the key that I want to update over here, which is age. All right. That's what it is. It, the current value is 35 for this key. I will simply do equal to assignment operator and 30. Okay. Let's uh, try printing A now. You see? Over here, uh, the value stored for age was 35. Now that they have updated it, it's 30. This is one of the ways you can update uh, uh, a dictionary. There are multiple other ways which we will get into uh, later in my upcoming videos. All right. Um, basically, dictionaries are used everywhere. Okay, in APIs, databases, and even machine learning, which is you know, which we um, at a current rate are a long way. Uh, machine learning is a long way, you know, in our future. Uh, for now, we're still learning basics. All right, then. Um, now it's your turn. I'm going to give you uh, three quick Python challenges. All right, solve them and comment uh, your answers below. All right, the first one is create a list with five numbers. You can choose numbers, whichever you want. All right, and print the sum. I know I haven't explained how to do this, but you know, try, okay? Another one, uh, you know, to try logically, see how you think uh, you can achieve that. Uh, you have issues, I'll be explaining it to you in my next video anyway, all right? So need not worry, just give it a try. Make a tuple with three names in it and print the last one okay i think that's very easy to achieve uh, we've already done indexing in tuple it's quite similar okay all right next one uh, it will be create a dictionary for a movie all right. And I want you uh, to store information for that particular movie. I'll do one thing. Do it like um, uh, two for two movies. All right. And uh, for each movie, I want you to save um, as values. I want you to enter as values. Uh, title. All right. The year it got out. Uh, name of the director. Okay. And then print the title. Okay, it's very easy. You need not panic at all. Okay, you don't understand the question. You don't uh, after trying. You don't understand how it needs to be done. You need not worry. In my next video, I'll be covering it all. Okay, so um, mastering data structures is you know basically one of the biggest steps uh, in Python. And uh, if this tutorial helped you, uh, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want more Python tutorials, subscribe to Python for Everyone for us. And uh, in my next video, I'll be covering in depth. Um, in my next two or three videos, I'll be covering in depth uh, lists, uh, its uh, methods and uh, operations, how to manipulate it, etc., etc. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for your time. Bye-bye.